In this video, we're going to be using Moon Soap's Old School and the Mara Yates 921 EH Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at LEAF. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Moon Soaps Old School. And this comes to you for $20 for six ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's a good price at 333 an ounce. We get that a score of four out of five in cost. Up next, we have the scent, and I'm going to put the scent notes or description for you on the screen right there. Very, very nice to my nose. Some of the notes are tobacco, vetiver, mahogany, vanilla. Very, very nice indeed. I give it a score of 4.5 out of 5 in scent quality. In terms of scent strength, this is solidly in that medium range. We give that a score of 4 out of 5. This is a tallow-based soap. I'm going to put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. One of the cool things about Moon is they render their tallow in-house, so that's pretty cool. And I always enjoy using their soaps. The people at Moon are just fine people. The ease of use on this was exceptional today. I give it a score of five out of five in ease of use. We got an amazing lather, which you can see right there. Super creamy and it was easy and I always loved that. So we look forward to using Moon Soaps old school today. Now, when it comes to the razor today, we have a Goldilocks situation here because you know, I have always loved the Yates razors. But the problem is this handle too long and too skinny. This handle, too short and too fat. But today, today we've went full on Goldilocks because we got our America razor and we have put together what I'm calling the Mara Yates 921 EH because I'm using the America razor handle and top cap, which you can see there's no logo on and I prefer that. And then we're using the Yates uh, 921 EH for extra heavy plate. So we're getting some good efficiency out of this, some, and uh, or at least we should get some good efficiency out of it because that is quite aggressive, quite a blade gap there. And to me, this makes this razor complete. It feels great. The handle is great uh, as opposed to these, which are good shavers, but I just don't like these handles at all. I just don't. This and this is just not for me, but I do love the Yates razor. So for putting this together with America, which by the way, Yates also makes the America razor. So it's, it's uh, kind of makes sense that it would fit. This will make this razor awesome, I think. So we look forward to using the Mary Yates 921 EH today. Kind of a Franken razor, but it fits. Look at that. That's nice. And this handle is just to me way better than the other two. So we look forward to using that today. Enough yapping. Let's get into it. We're, we're going to start by missing the face and this just plain water here, just applying a little water. And the brush for today is one that Nail sent me from Canada. This is one of the uh, West Coast Shaving, uh, you can see the logo there, Infinity type brushes. And we wanted to try that out, so we will. And I'm telling you, the lather here today is really awesome. It is super creamy. I'm telling you, Moon makes a good soap. And one of the things I really like about Moon as well, from time to time, Melody will just reach out and check and see how I'm doing, how my family's doing, you know, my mother in particular. Um, my nephew and it's just it's really nice that she does that and honestly there's not very many people that do that apart from you guys you and the community you know you do it viewers and friends but in terms of people that we do business with and um, there's a handful of people that does it and moon is one of those there there are folks who do it but it's it's by no means the majority so i appreciate that personal touch and caring that um, melody and zach provide. And as you can see there, that lather is really, really nice. Now I know some people, um, I've seen people rating Moon like in the, you know, mid tier or whatever. But to me, what does it lack? As you look at this lather today, is there anything lacking there? I don't think so. And the scent on this is phenomenal. And, and the thing about Moon is, and sometimes let's be honest, we all want more, you know, from, from Moon, but they wait and when they have a release, it's very refined. The label is tight. The scent is tight. Everything is tight. So although I complain about it, and I do, I'm like, I wish Moon made more stuff. 
um, when they do release something, it's usually tight and right. And, uh, you know, there's something to be said about taking your time and really putting love and caring into your product. And I think Moon certainly does that. And although I will complain, I wish I wish we had more from Moon. I own all the, the scents that Moon make. Um, I respect the fact that they do it their way, you know, because that, man, that feels nice. Man, oh man, I was in the middle of talking about Moon and I took a few strokes there and I'm like, oh yeah. With this handle, this feels brilliant. Now this is an aggressive razor. Uh, the blade gap on it, what was it, 1.27 millimeters. And I forgot to mention today, by the way, I'm all over the place today because I'm loving this scent and I'm loving the feel of this razor now. But let's go ahead and announce the giveaway before we get too far into it. Uh, once again, we're gonna do a gift card because I'm gonna be traveling, heading out soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'll be giving away another Razor Company uh, gift card, which I will buy, $25 gift card. If you want to be included in that giveaway, just write Shave Talk below. And that is the group that we've created. And of course my, uh, my Instagram uh, show, Shave Talk. So we just kind of want to get word on that out. And if you want to join the Facebook group, please do. It's been really wonderful so far. So I hope to see you there. Um, anyway. That is the giveaway, so that's one piece of business I wanted to <laughs> cover today. Also, I want to thank our latest patron, um, Anthony Ocean. Thank you so much, Anthony, for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, people like Anthony, you know, help with these giveaways and so on, so that is very, very much appreciated. Thank you, Anthony, and all of you Patreon supporters, and all of you viewers as well. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I tell you what, this is feeling nice. No roughness whatsoever out of this. No, Nate reached out to me the other day just to get my thoughts on the EH. And, and to me, you can definitely feel the efficiency, but it still feels smooth. And this handle and top cap, so Yates typically puts their branding on here, which a lot of people don't like. And I'm not the biggest fan of it either, to be honest. But this configuration, I know it has sort of a industrial sort of look to it, but this is nice. This is, like I said, you know, gold, Goldilocks went in, one was too cold, one's too hard or whatever, and the other, this is just right. This is just right. The Mary Yates 921 EH is just right. <laughs> so uh, now it's a razor that I really, really like. And so that, that's awesome. And I hope to see, I, and I think someone mentioned that Yates were going to be making new handles and so on in the future. I hope they do because those other two just don't do it for me. But I will say they're very fine people at Yates and uh, they make very fine products. So the razor, the plates are awesome, but I hope they'll have the, uh, the razors an option not to have the branding on the top because I know just a lot of people do not like it and they will not buy it for that reason. They don't like a lot of branding in noticeable areas. Maybe put it on the butt of the handle or something like that. I think people are fine with that, but some people just, they will not buy something a razor where the branding is on the top cap. Of course, every company has to do business the way they see fit. It won't stop me, but when I, I prefer without it, which is why I ordered the, the America without the flag on the top cap, because I, I generally don't want anything on the top cap. It's not necessarily a deal killer, but I prefer it without. All right, man, this soap smells great. It, this is an underrated moon soap, I think. You don't see it as much as some of the other moon soaps, but it's got a really nice, scent to it. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. And that's the thing about Moon. Everything they do is refined. They take their time. They do it right. And, uh, you know, there's something to be said for that. And even though I will complain and go, oh, I need more from Moon. <laughs> it's out of love. It's out of love. <laughs> but I tell you, I am enjoying it. And uh, for me, this stuff lacks nothing. Um, there are no quality issues with slickness, cushion glide, whatever you want. If you get the best out of this soap in terms of your lathering, you will likely get it. And I tell you what, this razor now feels fantastic. The handle is just right now. So that has really made a difference. It's just the feel. Does it make a big difference in the shave? I don't think so. Um, the handle for me is just more preference thing. It doesn't really matter that much to the shape, but it just feels better in your hand. And when it feels better, it's more enjoyable. And for me, as you know, enjoyment is number one for me. I gotta be enjoying what I'm doing. And if I don't enjoy it, I won't do it. And so this makes this razor enjoyable. And before, with either that long skinny handle or the short fat handle, it just wasn't enjoyable. So you didn't see me use it much. But in this configuration, 
I like it. I like it a lot. And I love this EH plate. This is only the second time I've used it, but it is very efficient. The blade gap is 1.27 millimeters. So um, to me, and I, Nate had asked, you know, how does this sort of compare to the Sterling uh, hyper aggressive? It's not to me, it doesn't feel quite as menacing as the hyper aggressive plate from the Sterling razor. This one comes off to me as maybe a little bit smoother, which is a great thing. It just feels good overall, honestly. Oh man, that is nice. Now this is an efficient razor though. This is not one you want to be whipping around without using care because you know, you have to be careful when you get this kind of efficiency in a razor. But it, it, would uh, it would definitely be among the more efficient uh, safety razors out there based on the ones I've tried, which, which are most. And we're, we'll finish off with a quick third pass here and we'll go across the grain on the cheeks on that one. And this has just been a fantastic shave today. I know I've been all over the place in my, <laughs> you know, I try to keep it somewhat streamlined, but sometimes you, when you get into the shave, everything changes. You know, it's just like, oh, I gotta talk about that. You know, things just come to your mind as you're shaving and I just let it go as it comes. <laughs> but I tell you, the brush here, very nice. The quality of the lather, exceptional. And I tell you right now, um, we'll run down all the scores on this soap at the end, of course, in the post. But quality on this, for me, is five out of five. It lacks nothing. If you look at that lather, I think you can, you know, you can objectively see that's a very nice lather. And if you have lather that looks like that, and I always tell people, don't worry about the way it looks. Uh, and I do mean that, but when you see a super sheen on a soap like this, and you see that, you know, those peaks like that, it's going to be slick. There is no question that it's going to be slick. It's a foregone conclusion. Now, you don't need this level of sheen to get a great shave, I'll tell you that, but you can reasonably conclude when you see a lather that has good hydration and it, it's going to be slick. And so if you get the best out of this soap, it's gonna be great. And for me, it's right there with all the other soaps. It doesn't uh, lack for anything in my opinion. Very good indeed. All right. And the scent is really nice on this one. I honestly don't know why I haven't used it more. <laughs> this one has actually been uh, sitting around for a long time. I had a sample and then I bought it and I just haven't, hadn't had an opportunity to come back and, and use it. And today was that day. And let me tell you, I'm glad that I used it because I'm enjoying it. This has been a really enjoyable shave. Moon Soaps, you know, check them out. They are definitely decent people. They put, you know, their full effort into everything they do. They're just not trying to churn things out willy-nilly, you know, sort of half-cocked. They put a lot of thought into the way they do things, and, and that's why many people enjoy them, and they are just nice people, too. And that helps. Because uh, they are folks who, uh, you know, engage with us in a positive way and those messages that I get from time to time just just mean a lot to me so you know you feel good when you spend your money with, with someone like Moon or at least I do and Yates too great company Yates by the way the America razor I don't think I mentioned it is from the wet shaving club and Yates makes the razors for the wet shaving club but I'm telling you the Mara Yates 921 EH now fantastic <laughs> <laughs> we have fixed all our problems with this razor. All right, let me uh, rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to get rid of the soap. Then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no stain, so super smooth shave. No next cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Moon Soaps Old School. And let's run through the scores for you. Cost, four out of five. Scent quality, 4.5 out of five. Scent strength, four out of five. Ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 22.5 out of 25. This is a very nice soap indeed, and I really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed using the Yates, Dermera Yates, <laughs> 
921 EH, which is a combination of the Yates razor and the America razor. Uh, and I think really making these changes has made this really a glorious shaver. No more of this with the skinny handle, no more of this with the fat handle, but this, this is the ticket and also no branding on the top cap. That makes this a beautiful razor. And I like that a lot. Very, very efficient with the EH plate, but very nice indeed. Yates does make very fine razors indeed. We used our West Coast Shaving Infinity brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will finish it out today with just regular old Lucky Tiger. I'm sort of getting towards the bottom of this one. So I figured I would try to use it from time to time just to finish this one up. And I'll buy this one again because I love Luck Lucky Tiger. It's got a pleasant orangish sort of vibe. It doesn't hang around long, but when it's there, it's really pleasant and nice. And it's a really nice toner in my opinion. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Hope wherever you are, you have amazing shaves and an amazing day. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.